Hello and welcome to my live recording session where I implement my project Bucket Manager used for JavaFX application for reading XML files. So it took me a while and I have a lot of work recently with Angular, JavaScript and Jasmine test framework, but hopefully I have get more work with Java. And yeah, so you see my GitHub and you see a lot of tabs, open tabs. So let me quickly switch to my Eclipse. And last time when I was recorded, I prepared myself for the writing test for my customized file chooser test. Because JavaFX did not have own um, JavaFX file chooser. And I decided to write my own JPL license uh, file chooser. I uh, saw a project which is too fi a file chooser, but I decided not to use it because of the possible licensing issues, licenses incompatibility. And I decided to spend some time and write my own uh, file chooser. This recording will be probably quite a short one, but I will do my best to explain what I have done. So, let me just quickly run my test to show you that I finalized my file chooser. My customized file chooser will work currently for Windows. Uh, I know, I know, it's not so good, but this is what I have uh, at the moment and the resources which I have spent time in, into implementation. And you clearly see I have still debug output. I like it because I see what actually happening, uh, what user type into the text field. And let me show you first of all the usage, how it looks like currently. Source main view, app main view, run as Java application. So you see this view, sorry I need to take some water, okay, you see my main view of my application, still I have a lot of work to do to populate this table, to populate this table, to create many favorites, but one major milestone was achieved, I can actually open and you see my custom made file chooser where I click on my um, disk and you can clearly see that I can open file and I see here the file structure and I mean the, the, the files and the directories and I see the dates so if I click twice on the file the path will be updated and if I have not suitable format, for example like txt, click OK, it will get a message, please open XML, <laughs> please open XML only file. And this is actually important, what to do, I need to click OK, and if use it, Click on the proper format, like satellites XML two times, and click OK. You see valid input, so it works. Now, definitely what I need to do, it, and it was kind of some sort of a challenge for me, is to, to pass this value to my to my main controller because I have two con different controllers let me just quickly ah, I need to <laughs> still I need to implement what user if what if user click on quit then the program should ask about are you sure and only then the user can actually close the application but it's still I think quite good in development and let me just close it down so next stop 
okay so here is my controller and what I have done mm, where is my other controllers main menu controller here and let me just put it in the right order so uh, how it happens that my main menu controller can access my custom file chooser a custom file chooser can access main menu controller um, when my main menu controller instantiate the border pane I mean the pane object let me just quickly find it here current pane uh, border pane okay so here I'm in instantiating the object of my form fxml form and I pass to it the the path you don't see it here because it is kind of structured I need to open this method and you see pane input panel and this input panel in input panel used in another method and let me just think through current current pane yeah uh, some some I need probably in the future refactor my main controller <laughs> I don't want to be to to to, to build up the whole stuff but actually what I'm look looking for let me just quickly look up one method injector okay so now my main controller should consist my injector why I don't ah may, wait a second do I have to do main menu controller main menu controller injector it is yeah so why I'm not sure ah, okay Cl close custom file chooser so my custom controller has an injector it has this injector it injects the main menu controller and my menu controller should pass this let me just quickly look it up I don't I think I yeah here here is the place so how it works uh, this method loading fxml for about menu it gets a path and if it finds out that this is a path for, of the customized file chooser it goes through all of the case switch and it found the case where I have my custom file chooser pane and then he uh, calls this method and in this method I actually don't need this line no, no I don't need this line so and in this method he injects main menu controller here main menu controller to the custom file choose controller it took me a while uh, to, to grasp the idea of injecting but I mean it's always the case with some hard stuff so I'm doing here and in only in this method I make a declaration of my custom file choose controller because I don't need I do not need to declare it globally and here I provide my actually actually here I'm getting hold of the controller and uh, how how I get it I just 
use this gl uh, global FXML loader. So FXML, FXML loader loads a FXML formula, which is custom file chooser custom custom file chooser pane. After that, I can actually call my FXML loader which is referenced from the custom file to the controller and then I can get the controller and I'm getting the controller reference to the controller and I call the method of my custom file choose controller which is inject main menu controller in inject main menu controller get hold of a reference to the main menu controller so it was difficult, somehow difficult. I think it's all about the, the amount of lines of code. But it's, it's, I think it's still beautiful because it's clearly you can clearly read what it does, and I hope it is understandable. So anyway, it is on GitHub. I'm actually updated my GitHub, and now you can actually access it, and it works pretty well. Maybe. Maybe uh, in some near near future I will say I will refactor some stuff, but I'm pretty satisfied with my results. So the next step, the next step will be like to populate my. So I need to find my file test, and here I have my XML, and here I just put my at XML please open XML on the file this was this, this message I get because I did not click twice it's okay and let me just and this is an exception but it is not so bad because the, just not found the file so I just need to click it twice now okay now you see the message valid input and now I should think about uh, at this point the file ch customized file choose opener uh, finished his work and now it should pop populate the controller of the main menu controller and it is possible to work with main menu controller and I think basically it will just it will just get hold of a uh, error list. So, but I need to think about how I should test it. Let me uh, go to my wait a second tutorials point and whiteboard. Very good site. I'm not affiliated with that, but it still has a lot of nice tutorials. Tutorials point. I mean, you can clearly see tutorials point is very good site. Um, okay, so just thinking abstractly, the next move. Here is my main menu controller. And the another stuff should be customize file chooser, customize it file chooser, and another one, another one is um, how it should call it. Um, Main menu controller, main menu of course, main menu controller. So and basically, it should go in in this main menu controller opens customized file chooser. I'm just sorry for my bad writing. It opens a customized file chooser, customized file chooser retrieves the file which user picked 
valid one, XML. XML file will be received by the main menu controller and then utilized and instantiated appropriately. So basically I will use XML as a release. Every every list. And the only one question is how I can uh, how I will be able to test it. Because writing code it's not a problem, but I do test driven development. And the question the big question will be how I can test it. Because the method which I need to create, it should it should consist of path, different kind of strings. Okay, so just think thinking about it through, and let me quickly switch to Eclipse. And there's still something running. Ah, okay, it's still running. So now, uh, what I need to do? Close it down and customize file. Choose a test. I think I I tested a lot of methods which I able to test, but. I need to switch to the main main view tester. Main menu controller. Main menu controller. It's a class. I need the tests. Here my test. Source test Java. And here I have my view tests. Main view. Main view tests. Uh, okay. So. I just yeah. So you see a lot of rudimentary stuff, but yeah, it was needed to test all the stuff. And basically <laughs> a lot of code. I mean, yeah, I should probably refactor at some point, um, but not today. So I just need to write a test. Test. Uh, and what I'm testing, void um, testing if after opening. Actually, I do not need to open file chooser for this test. I just need to verify that I can populate the files, mockup file paths to the variable which get hold of uh, files which I need to write. So my test will be basically at the controller level. I'm not sure how I be able to do that but let's just try it out. Testing if testing if file path to files path to files can be can be written okay so I expect to have a list of string list of string uh, mockup mockup values mockup values and new array array list so this, this is what I expect to have and I just need to put the correct values into the mockup mockup values list mockup values list and here I need to do
Okay, now how I should how I should go about so I need my makeup uh, makeup values. Okay, now I have here I think it's kind of boring, but string well one and just put I need three two three and because I am pretty sure that will work with my UI and I'm just because my uh, why I write this test because my my method which will receive all the values will be a public one and I must be able to test my public method so here I need to just to put my files and I pretty sure some people with Mac OS, Linux and other operating system will tell me why I make it uh, operating system dependent because it's easy and I have such business case this I, that I think many people many people which will use my application probably will use a Windows operating system maybe Maybe, maybe in some future I will just write some stuff, implementation for the operating systems. But Java is platform independent. Actually, actually it will work with different kind of OS, uh, but the people just need to provide, uh, write manually the path to the input text text input field I hope I hope it will work it's kind of integration testing but still it's for the future thinking about the future um, and I just need to add 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 all of my values well one So now finally I manage it. Here I just extract a method, refactor extract method like init mockup values. Init mockup values. So values will be initialized. And now I need to think about how I will access my menu, main menu controller. Um, and this is actually interesting stuff because it has some familiarities with my previous work and it means I need to get my controller here in my main view my uh, my main view should be able to get me a controller and I just need here first of all I have did not read my test to the full extent so next stop list string actual actual values list new array list string yeah kind of boring stuff uh, and now I will write here assert equals and just here write my stuff like uh, Got, got wrong values for x 
XML file both XML path files files and here I just need to write my mockup actual it's actually actual let me just let the factory name it actual actual mockup values and here I just need to ah okay so not actual expected 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 I'm always to misspell expected and the second one actual values all right so now I have written a test and what I need to do actually it should fail because I do not put any value to my actual value list yeah and you see it failed it did fail um, how I should go about it um, first I need to initialize the values and then put it and then and then uh, receive those values init mod mockup values so basically uh, I need to call my main view object yeah I need to call my main view object and just um, and just uh, tell him gave me controller a controller save my files please save my files main view controller and then I need to get hold let's just uh, do one thing at a time so I need to put stuff into my controller actually actually it's funny thing I'm thinking about getting hold of a controller as a as a initial test. Let me just uncommented. So, but I will use this uncommented test. So next test, void test if a controller can be accessed. And just uh, here, I need to. Um, so, how I should do it? Uh, assert not null. Yeah, I think the best way to do it following: assert not null, and I need to get hold of my main view object. main view object main view object get controller hold of a controller and you clearly see that this test will fail because let me just run it yep so get main controller get main controller and I just need to implement this method here in my main view and main menu controller main menu controller main view okay main menu controller and here I need to provide a variable private main menu controller main menu controller okay and now I just need to write some 
getters and setters. Actually, I need to get get uh, getter to get the getter. Getter, getter, getter. I don't need a setter. I just need to getter. And here, I just return get. Actually, I don't need this method. It was pretty dumb for me. Uh, get menu controller. Okay. Now I have it written like that. Still, it will fail because this main menu controller is not initialized. And yeah, it's not initialized. So it is this almost the same code. Um, how I can be able get my main menu controller? Pretty simple actually. So where I'm calling my fxml loader, I can actually. Okay, I need my I need a setter. Yeah, I need actually a setter. So, yeah, it's kind of switching between languages is kind of some sort of a dif different mindset. Uh, because most part of the work which I currently do is in JavaScript. It's kind of... I'm ex actually enjoying working with Java more because Java type -ly, type -ly key, <laughs> type type language type type set will language and it's very has very proper and very readable syntax actually. But anyway so what I need to do I need to do the same stuff which I have done with my main menu controller where it is where it is uh, I need to find this yeah, switch case. Oh yeah, a lot of code. Um, maybe I should refactor it in the next iteration. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. So uh, where I can find it? I'm just ah, okay. So now I just find it. Oh, so here you go. I just need to copy this line. I just need to copy this to my notepad. And things to do. So I have my main menu controller. Get controller. Custom file chooser. I hope. Yeah, it's it's right it's the right one controller. So basically, I setting up set up set uh, main menu main set main menu controller, and here I just need to put. Set main menu controller, fxml, fxml loader, close it down, and put the appropriate casting, and I hope it is worked. Fxml loader. Ah, okay. Now I understand why it cannot get hold of it. Because funny thing. Actually, I need to separately do this stuff. And I think I already work with that code at the same level. Can be pretty tedious. So what I need to do? I need to have. I need to 
initialize here my controller cool and ooh, I hope border pane custom file choose get resource get back to HTML form I hope it is yeah it, I need to think it clearly okay so this line is okay the problem always with this line I think it's not so easy to I just need to put it in such way and then I get let's just try it out let's just uh, run my test can it can be pretty ugly mm, I just run my test and hope it works yay oh no <laughs> Okay, yeah, and you see, expect not now, so it did fail, but okay, now I have some work to do. So I load my controller, and what is different from other stuff? Border pane. open stream that was the stuff which I missed last time uh, path to XML open stream and I hope I don't think I need this line okay what I have missed Yeah, this is kind of ugly stuff because open stream. Let me just look it to compare it. So now it, it behaves itself better, but it say it says that it has a problem. Okay. So now I just need to manage this stuff. Uh, get long resources. And my languages. To, I need to add my languages. You see? And then I just need to fxl fxml loader add set I hope it. I hope it works. Uh, I think yeah, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> it's kind of ugly, but still, I think this probably probably will work. Can can be interesting. Let's just. Uh, okay, what just base location is undefined yeah yeah this is kind of stuff which I hate most most times but maybe wait, wait a second when I just do it here like load load all no. Yeah. It's. Let me just. I think it won't work this way. It will break some code. Because when I cannot load my. Yeah, it breaks. Um.
but still I do not understand why okay maybe maybe it was like I don't know to fxml fxml loader I need to do it previously let me just let me just try it out fxml loader use into the sense load load input stream yeah the problem is I have I have such thing have my resources resource bundles set maybe I just need to use a set uh, resource bundle set yes so hope it's probably should work it's almost the same code like here ah I don't need to cast anything okay so I just don't need to cast but does it work I hope it work uh, let me just because without control it's difficult uh, no what I get as a message base location is undefined see it for the first time this kind of ugly message and the error detect trace It's ugly. It's ugly. Uh, still, I found it's quite amazing that uh, at one point it works, at another one it does not. Uh, let me just analyze the code. Open stream. Yeah. Custom file chooser controller. I mean, this is only two line, two liner, but each line has uh, a lot of sense, and it is important to for me to get hold of a controller. So let's just compare the code. So I need to set up my resources, definitely, this is not, there is no other way. Set main view grid pane. I hope, uh, let me just. I just run it normally uh, except in application constructor I don't, I'm not sure I'm not sure. Invalid. Invalid. 
selection target exception no resource specified Maybe, maybe I'm trying too much. Let me just try it out this following. Okay. Mm, strangely enough, and works. Do I? received some yeah I have here this ugliness change access to static using F just let me just try it out Private static. I mean, word static. Static. Okay, and does it pass my test? No. Still getting zero. Yeah, and this is kind of nuts. I mean, yeah, it's kind of nuts. Ah, okay. So, FXML loader and kind of, kind of, I'm quite puzzled. I need to have to get some break. Okay, so it was not so nice, it took me quite a while. I think 20 minutes. Um, yeah, the problem was with my uh, path setting up, setup of path. Basically, you have here um, this method set location, which use kind of deprecated um, data type for setting up of URL. Uh, basically, I'm it's kind of hack, I would say, because I get my string, I make my out of my string a file object, I put my file object to this method, and, and then I create a, UR, a URL. And basically, you got the result. I can open my file, so no, no, no problems at all. And I can actually delete this line. It was quite nice, but currently not what I needed. So now I just managed to get hold of my controller. All of my tests, let me just run one the first test here. Uh, and as you see, it passed. And I'm actually get, can get hold of my controller from my menu and it is needed because now I just can execute my other test but it's somehow challenging always to get manage of this stuff and anyway when I run my method here Oh, 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 oh. Um, let me just clean it. What just happened? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, 
So let me just run my test. Let's see what I have broken my test. Uh, something goes wrong. Let me just quickly. I need to save it. Let me just save it. I forgot to save. Always save your <laughs> class. So now, okay. Um, got wrong values for XML path expected. Okay, actual, actual, yeah. So cool. Now, what I need to do? I need to actually be able uh, to call my main view. Let me just save it here. Let's save it. And what? The next move should be, and I see we are almost at one hour, but I think I will be able to successfully pass this test. So, pretty simple. I just need to call my uh, main view object, uh, main view object. Get hold of a controller, get controller, get main menu controller, and now it will be funny because I need to think uh, about some name set valid XML files path. Paths many. I have a paths to different fi XML files. And what should it have? Actually, I don't need to populate different values. I need just. I I I can actually uh, actual value test. Yeah. Wait a second. I need to put this list. You say it's it's kind of rudimentary, but I say why not? Uh, in my case, it will probably just simplify my way of life. So, and how how it should work? It calls this method set valid XML file paths. Uh, wrong, 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 wrong. Let me just redone it. And let me just redone. So set valid. So how I imagine, I have one file which was open, and it was. Ah, okay. So this is actually. Add XML valid a valid XML file to uh, to to list. So this is what I need to call, and basically I can I can make it. Like for each, so and I am iterating through this list, and I call this method, and I put my input file path. Okay. Now it is how I expect to to get it. Create method. So 
finally I uh, okay and how I will how it will work uh, private uh, list string uh, paths of valid XML files Setter on getter. Uh, source getter. Setter on getter. Okay, and what I do here, uh, and I need to actually initialize it because where is my constructor? Constructor, constructor, initialize. Okay, so for this kind of stuff, I just need to use public main menu main menu controller, and here I basically need to initialize. Only one exception. Uh, you array list string. Okay, now let's initialize it. And here I just need to ma make sure get. And here I just need to add input field path. Okay. So my main view test it iterates over the input path. Uh, I mean, it will from the mockup values and it puts the values. And the result I'm getting directly for from my main view hit main controller get uh, input get pep yeah this is what I expect and get wrong values for XML pep to files from main menu controller so now and what I like about this uh, the UI is not involved but I still can be is able to test my method now let me just run it and I hope it probably should work. Open my J unit, and you see it, it did pass testing if path to files can be written. So it works. It works pretty well. Mm, for people who do not believe it me, let me just uh, output this. This out, this out. So we getting uh, all straight information. Uh, let's just put it like this. Yep. So one, two, three, and this is what I get from my controller. So now I able to the values and cool so uh, now uh, what I need to do I need 
just to extract this method, refactor, iterate, iterate, iterate over list, iterate over list, add to control, main menu controller, main menu controller. Okay. So now I am able to write to my main menu controller from my file chooser and my file chooser uh, need to write a test for my so all of the tests now will work I'm just executing main view tests and all test screen cool and what I need to do I need to let me just go to my customer customer style chooser so a lot of code I know uh, it's kind of crazy how I got it uh, this way and this was basically uh, about the stuff to which I thought on off camera uh, is pep it's kind of uh, operating system dependent pep but for me it was clearly a solution as I said earlier I want to be able to to make a client for different kind of OS, it's kind of overwhelming, but it can be um, done so in such ways that it is possible to for operating systems. You can extend it if you wish. So now I just need to to be here, and here I just need to extract this code. It's basically for displaying alert message. Display alert message if user chosen open open uh, open wrong file wrong file. Okay, next step. Next step will be like. So I have valid valid input and before I close the application, call my development file, my the file is valid XML, change value. Okay, I need to to do two things file lo load stable LVL. So I'm kind of puzzled. What should I do? If my file chooser sends message, well, let's just try it out. I don't know. Let me think about. Ah, I can, I can actually test out. I can actually, I can actually be will be able. To test this out. Okay. First, let me think about saving. I did test this functionality, and I just need to call before I close my stuff. Okay, I need uh, to to write to my main menu controller. So, getting hold of main menu controller, gain main get main menu controller. Actually, this add valid XML file to list input file button. 
okay and file load state lvl yeah um i'm not sure i'm not sure how i have two things to do two different kind of solutions i can write an event listener in my main menu controller or my custom file chooser controller access the uh, main menu controller and change it and change this files load state lvl and i think i think for me yeah just let just uh, let just uh, try it out so get main menu controller at the day valid so now i just need to uh, set actually get get uh, okay set uh, set just I just need to slow down set text okay and here I need to provide this input pattern but the problem is I just need to cut the extension of the file let me just uh, think about what I need to substring okay so returns a string that is a substance string uh, let me just think about Because it need to, it just need to ends ends with yeah string manipulations is not my. Uh, it's not my power skill actually <laughs> but I just need to um, I just need to cut cut down all of this unneeded stuff and just to display file name XML because currently it now it will explain it will show wait a second and ends with this is a string and with a specific suffix maybe I not I don't wish to use here a regular regular expressions I can it I can use it but I just need to have let me just let me just postpone it I need to look up how I can extract file name from this given string let me just quickly look it up okay so here is the solutions I always use stack overflow okay so I need I need to put it into new file And here just need to like 
import new file and I just need to use uh, get name and I hope it will be sufficient let me just save it so now it it will it will print valid input it will print the whole path to the file then it will call the controller save this full path with file name to the controller main menu controller after that it will uh, set up a label on the main view and I will see there that is and I'm actually wish that is let me just set color set um, background blend mode can I can I change the the color 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 Basically, I need to change the color of color. Basically, maybe property. Let me just quickly look it up in the main view form. Okay, now it loads, and here I need to look it up here and layout uh, properties text field. Okay, let me just open text field, uh, text field set text field. Aha, uh -huh. set text field. Okay, now I just need to property set text view view paint uh, I hope we're doing this right view paint Ah, okay, so I need to specify here. Set text field. Um, maybe I need to look it up. The paint. Set text. Set the value with text field. Okay, paint value. Paint value and paint value. I need to pick it up from the uh, main menu form. Open, open, scene builder. Okay. And here I just need to click here, text field, and I'm not sure. I probably pick, I'm not so good with the color. Uh, basically, I would love to have green, but I think blue is the one. So how I can extract this value? I need to write it down. E zero nine D nine. And save it. I hope it will work. So 
set text view. Ah, okay, maybe. So I need to have here some value. New paint. Okay, so public enum paint type proportional. I just not sure how to set up set text field. Let me just look it up. I'm yeah. Uh, I just need to look it up. Set text field. Set text field color maybe so set text field font color what is a font color I don't see any color set text color okay color color blue I hope it will satisfy my set text view color blue okay now now I can uh, simply test it out. I need to write probably a test for this kind of stuff, but let me just try it out. Uh, see, first I can pick wrong file. Show. Uh, I need to click OK. Please open XML only file. And here I just need to open my XML file. And I see only XML. But cool, uh, cool. But I need to have uh, not only that, I need to have my file name. Why I don't see the file name? I basically okay so here ba basically get name maybe I should look it back uh, it was different Here. Okay, let me just quickly pause. Okay, figure it out. It was my concentration problem. So basically, once again, valid file button. It has application XML. Expected pattern of input file. Is this is what I actually put for verification. So I expect to get this pattern application slash XML and then I put it into insertion method this method inserts the file to the XML uh, to the main controller to the uh, array list of the main controller where I store my files which I need to open so and here I need to make sure uh, that I update my UI so we will we will get this message file such and such is loaded and the, the color uh, change changes changes and 
So basically, click, save it, and let me just run my manual test manually and ready to load XML files. Open XML file. I give the path to the test directory to the XML and you see text view change it new path setup and I just need to click of OK writing file to main controller and UI file buckets XML is loaded So, when I click file, open XML file, I need to once again repeat the procedure. Uh, test, XML, satellites, I need to click it two times. File satellites XML loaded. Writing file to main controller satellites XML. And then let me just repeat it last time. Services. Yeah, I need to repeat it two times. And I need to change the error message. So basically, it goes like this. Now I can load my services. I can load my other stuff. And let me just think of it. How I actually can I actually write my one last test for the day? And. Clear. Yeah.